Hey students, so uh, in this video, we're going to go over the last part of lab 4.4, which is two more custom reporter blocks. Um, and I just kind of wanted to go through these. I know that this uh, set of videos has been long. We have four parts of lab 4.4, but I really did think that this lab was important enough to include all those. So with that being said, um, the first block that we're gonna cover in this part is called the only evens block. And uh, we're basically gonna take a list of integers and we're going to report a new list that contain only the even numbers from the original argument. So for that, I am going to say uh, the first thing I want to do, as usual, is I'm going to go ahead and rip off some of my old code. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, pull it out of just any of these really, but I picked some. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to edit my only evens block. Again, like usual, I need to add an argument to it. I just create a numbers list because that was the easiest. I'm going ahead and place all that in here. So again, we're going to create a condition inside of this if loop or sorry, this for loop, as well as create a new variable because we don't want to change the current one. We want to create a whole new one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull set in here and I'm going to make a variable called evens and click OK. So I'm going to set evens. And this time, since we are going ahead and create a list, I want to set evens to a list. That's going to be important later on because I want to modify a list, not just a regular number, right? So I need to make sure that I create or I set evens to a list in this very beginning portion. So for i equals one to the length of numbers list that I am fine with, I'm going to go ahead and pull all this out right here. I'm going to use a if statement to check and see if my numbers are even. So I'm going to say evens, I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. And then I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to say add thing. You know what we could do is I don't even think I need evens technically. I think I can just do it like this. So I want to add, we're going to say item blank. So I'm going to find that. Nope, pull you right there. Item one, or I should say I have numbers list after I test it to evens. So I'm going to find evens right over here on the left and drag that into the spot. Again, that double equal sign or that equal sign right there symbol means we're looking for a list. And again, the condition that I want to check is if, um, and let's see if I can find the right operator. This might take me a minute. We want to find something called the mod operator. So here we go. So if the mod operator, um, I know we've used it before, but I feel like I've, I didn't really explain it fully. The mod operator basically tells you the divisor of a number divided by another number, or I should say the remainder, right? So if I do two mod something, let's say I do two mod three, it's going to give me two. Mm. I want to do something a little bit different. If I do 15 mod two, 15 divided by two leaves us a remainder of one, right? And it's going to clearly show that right there. So it would be true that a... Uh, that any number, any even number mod by two is going to have one, or I'm sorry, zero as the result. So I'm gonna test that right here, show you what I'm talking about. So let's say the number is 14 mod two. You can see we get that true because that returns zero. And again, I'll bring that right up here so you can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap that back in. We're testing if item I of numbers list divided by two equals zero, then we want to add it to evens. And then of course we want to say evens at the very end right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate evens, put that right there. And that's all there is to it. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And then as usual, we're gonna go ahead and draw that out into the area, only evens. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my numbers variable that I created earlier. And if I use numbers right here, we should get theoretically a list that returns eight, negative 660. So if I click, you can see we get exactly that. And it creates that new evens variable right there. So that's how you do the first one, only evens. Um, again, the two important parts of that we're using the uh, modulo operator as well as uh, creating the list in the very beginning using that list variable so it can actually act on it. Um, the next one uh, is the bonus, which is write a custom snap reporter block called at all that takes two lists of numbers as argument and returns a new list that contains the sum of the corresponding values. So for example, if we had like a list of one, two, three, and another list of four, five, six, 
we basically add up each one along the way. So as you can see, I already have add all created right here just to start out. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. I'm going to click plus. I want to add here two arguments. I want numbers list one and numbers list two. I'm going to go ahead and click enter, apply, and then click OK. So um, again, like we do every single time, I'm going to go ahead and copy some of this stuff so I can use it later. So I'm going to copy the evens code that I just created, and I'm going to pull out add all right here so I have it for the future. I'm going to right click it and click edit. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to create a variable called sum list. And this sum list is going to be the list that I use later to add everything up. So sum list right there. We're going to create it using a list. Um, one of the prompts of this is that, and I'm just pulling out all the numbers list because that is incorrect, as well as evens, is that we are going to assume both lists are the same size. So this for loop right here will still work if I pull in numbers one, numbers list one, or if I use instead numbers list two because they're both going to be the same size and I can use the same I iterator right here, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add item I. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out this if statement because we're not testing anything right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that off and I'm going to say add item, add uh, item I of blank. Instead, I'm gonna draw this out as well. Actually, I might need that. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that for now. Numbers like two add thing to and we're going to add thing to sum list. So I want to add the addition of both numbers to my list. So it's really going to be a simple, I'm going to duplicate this, snap one in there, snap two, and then draw down numbers list two, numbers list one, and that should be all we really need. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate, we're going to report sum list at the very end, and we can see right here at all, I am going to make my life slightly easier. I'm gonna do this, numbers two, create a second list. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate some of this right here. Go ahead and duplicate that. Set that right there, attach you back. We're gonna duplicate it once again. I'm basically setting up two numbers lists so that I can go ahead and use them. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three, and then we're gonna go ahead and do four, three, nope, I wanna do four, five, and six. And then I'm going to drop parts of this off so I don't have to use it later. And then simply snap numbers and numbers two into where I want it. And then when we click, we should get a list. We'll see right here. We were expecting a list, but getting a number. All right, let's go ahead and investigate. So here it says we're expecting a list but getting a number. Nine and my two to length of numbers list two. Say sum list. Hmm. We want to add that to sum list. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and duplicate our code, draw it out, and click cancel. Try to see we're expecting a list but getting a number. I think that was it right there. We were just simply using the same one twice. All right, and that's how you do it. So as you can see, our result that we're getting outside numbers two right now, the list that we're getting is five, seven, and nine, which is the addition of those two lists. And that, folks, is how you complete lab 4.4. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you watch all four par parts, thank you very much. Uh, please leave a comment and a like with anything that you want to see in the future or if you want me to maybe re-go over anything, I guess, anything again in this lab or another. Thank you.